Another weekend has come. It's an early morning. I'm already at one of my permissions along with the RTI P3 performance and we're both more than anxious to do a number on some pests. But unlike the first outing of this rifle, this time it's gonna be medium to long range shots using the 25 grain Edgon slugs. And I spray painted the skirts of those the previous day to get that tracer effect we all like so much. I gotta admit, this used to be a pretty cumbersome task, right until the moment Steve from Airgun Evolution sent me a couple of trays to paint the skirts of my 22 and 25 caliber projectiles. I'm also pretty sure you'll just love the plant I picked and thought I could use as a wind cone. Don't worry, it's the wild version that could grow as a wheat just about anywhere and is completely harmless. Of course, my presence was almost immediately noticed by a couple of my feline friends who stopped by to say hi. The action started almost immediately after. Being anxious to start popping sky rats, I failed to adjust the parallax properly on the next several shots, but what's really interesting is I took those in a quick succession. For some reason the pigeons kept landing at the same spot almost immediately after I had dispatched one of them. It did take them a while to realize that place wasn't safe anymore. An older cat approached one of the downed birds, but showed little interest in it. The reason is there are people at that facility who feed the felines dry cat food, and apparently that does their instincts. So we just went over and picked up that bird to give to the kittens later. Well, that was a miss, and it was a close one. I think it was due to a wind gust which I didn't sense on the ground at my position. So I decided to hold for wind on the following shot, but... It turned out I shouldn't have, and just like that I got two feather grazes in a row.
And why don't you eat pigeons? Perhaps you can hear some other voices in the background. That's my mate talking to the workers that had started arriving, which meant we had to gather our stuff and leave. But stay tuned guys, cause later that day I managed to pay my grain bean permission a visit. It's pretty windy in the afternoon. And before I got down to business, I fired several shots at an old concrete wall, leaning on my car despite the strong winds, just to give you an idea. Not so bad, I'd say. 55 yards in wind, 5 shots from the hood of my car. There are a couple of pigeons in that yellow thing over there, which is no surprise in the midsummer heat. It's kind of dark in there, but that's the whole point, isn't it? To be in the shade. I guess you can see them. I'm gonna have to reduce the frame rate of my camera to 120 per second. Now let's drive them out. No, he just took a dump. Did I say that's about 50 yards? Yeah, no more defecating. I wonder if any of the cats will be able to get it up there. Hello, you're gonna have to wait for the pigeons. Didn't we talk about this kind of behavior before? Hmm? Is that why you let me get so close these days? Hmm? So that you can hiss at me? That is a hundred and five yards. Hold over. That shot landed a bit low, but the sky rat was down anyway. The rest are back inside again. Oh, I think the glare is just terrible. You're gonna have to forgive me for that. The distance is about 45 meters, no, sorry, 45 yards this time. But you will be able to see the projectile. And you can trace it even without the slow motion when the skirt is painted. And again it remained up there. Well, we've got another one of those up there. Satisfied now?
satisfied now. The belly is full. Even though the wind is gusting and annoying you, obviously. Come on, come with me. I know where there is another pigeon. Let's go. She's following me like a dog now. Come on, we're almost there. Let's go. I have a true retriever now. Hey, come on. There goes another one into the cat's belly. I am trying to adjust the parallax as she's moving. That's 107 yards and I'm going to hold for wind a little. It's coming from the left. Oh, got him. And so did the cat. Yeah, I finally put the wind protection on my mic. You still hungry? Stop meowing and hissing. There's something else that I wanted to show you. Yes, the cat is still following me and hissing at me. But my point... <laughs> Man, it's making me even laugh. My point is that this place is almost entirely clean. Let me show you all the spots at which they usually roost or perch. So this warehouse is empty, with the exception of the amusing cat that loves me and hates me at the same time. The rooftops are also empty. Nothing on the silos either, which is probably no surprise in this heat. The rooftops of the northern silos are also empty. And so is this loading slash unloading terminal of the grain bins, or at least that's what I'm calling this place. I think I should extend the periods of time between visits at this place for four or five pigeons at a time. It's just not worth it. But I'm sure that's not how she feels about it. This place is almost clean and not without the assistance of the Prophet's lineup by RTI Arms. Realizing that my presence at the granary was no longer required that day, much to the cat's disappointment, I packed my gear and headed home. The RTI P3 performance lived up to the expectations, proving it was equally good with both Diabolo pellets and slugs. It was the 25 grain Edgons on this one, but I intend to try shooting some other brands out of the P3 soon. Same as on the previous videos of mine, you can find links to my gear in the description below. I remain grateful for you watching and posting comments everyone, so cheers and see you in the next one.